All right, everybody. And here we go. If you look on the side, I got circled right there, my wingman. I brought somebody with me that usually does between 20 30 K damage and could not normally do this by themselves. So this is a tank, but a tank that sets up everything and draws a million tons of aggro. It's also probably one of the most affordable tanks on the market. So I'm actually using the three piece Tillies here to grab everybody's attention and I use the multi-targeting tractor beam array to make sure everything's in my little buddy's firing arc. And here we go. He's a little bit outside my range, so I'm gonna go around. But before we get to that, the way this is done is mainly through duty officers, which you see on your screen right here, and how they complement each other. So there are tricks in the duty officer like this one where the Borg duty officer actually grants me attack pattern delta one. So even though it's not on my bar, I get the boost to threat gen. This guy heals my ship every time I use attack pattern beta, but he only comes with the expansion pack. So if you don't have them, you can replace them with more threat or extra hull healing, which is never a bad thing. And this guy's sitting in your Phoenix prize pack. Whether you're tanking or DPSing and you just like to run around the screen real fast, he comes in handy. Now here we go for the start and just keep watching my little buddy there. So the three piece set bonus started this off with an electrical jolt. And now I'm using different abilities like the multi targeting tractor beam to keep everything in his firing arc to raise his DPS. So, boom, he's doing quite well on hull and shields, ain't he? Communications network and the Genesis seed to take out those side transformers. I mean, yeah, tra transformers. And I do a little loop-de-loop -loop to make sure I got everybody's attention. Now, as the spears come out, you're going to see me pull them in. So that his firing arc is hitting everything on the screen. Radiant detonation, advanced hull reinforcement, fortified hull, tireless duality, and active hull hardening from reputation are being used. Now, in personal traits, we got fleet coordinator, self-modulating fire, EPS overload, and the silical power capacitor. We use the structural capacitor there because he got a little low on health. Warp core breaches will do that even with a tank with you. So as we head over to the next side, we're going to use superior beam training, fresh from r, r unconventional systems, and intelligence officer attache. So I'm going to help him take out this top guy right here. All right. We're going to set off my bow linked weapons. And there's the Genesis seed. Using fragment of AI tech, Terran targeting, and the boiler effect. So this is not a build for the faint hearted. Here I go again, grouping everything together so his fire is hitting everything. Now on ship traits, we got undefined engineer, bio link from the ship itself, carrier wave shield hacking, redirecting arrays, target rich environment, and history will remember. Also, if you happen to have it, yeah, just check them out there in the corner. Automated aggression will help you hold aggro. So as you can see in the little circle with the arrow there, he's doing quite well. So this is the ship itself. So let's go over the remaining consoles real quick. We have the cutting tractor beam, universal console. It has the chance to shut off shields and other things. The deconstructive renaissance emitter 
And yes, I botched that one. Oh, well. Then we have the hyper focusing trinary array. Do not use the clicky. It's just there for the pen. An opening salvo from the Titan. Also to cut off shields. We have the dynamic power redistribution module, mainly for defensive, not offensive. And look, he's doing quite well. You know, and the last slot is Lorca's custom fire control. So this is probably the most affordable, you know, tank that you can get on the market. You can get it from the Lobby store, I believe. And you, it's a nanny. I pull everything, I hold everything, I debuff it, I lower its resistances. So a character that comes in here with under, you know, 30K damage does well over 100, 200K damage. In fact, after this was filmed, yesterday we ran a lead and he actually crushed it so here's what the ship looks like hey guys if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up join me in the comments tell a friend about me love y'all peace